Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5 Minute Friday, I'm going to show you how to deduplicate your results in EndNote. Last week I showed you how to deduplicate your results in Rayon, but it wasn't that easy, now was it? So we're going to try it in EndNote today, so maybe you'll do it here instead and then upload your results to Rayon. It's kind of up to you, the workflow that you choose, whatever works for you. And I've been doing it this way for years and years and years. The first thing you need to do is open the library that you'd like to deduplicate and you can see that there are a lot of duplicates here based on everything from the authors to the year, the title, the pages, the volume, and the DOI. So I could go through 1,155 references that way, but I'm not going to. EndNote is one of the best products out there. I really like it. And all I need to do is go to Edit, Preferences, and I'm going to do it in a couple of different stages. Here we are in Duplicates, and there's other things here you can set up for your EndNote account. But we're going to concentrate on duplicates right now. So the first thing I do is match them based on author, year, title, volume issue, uh, maybe pages, sometimes DOI. Let's do that. Let's choose DOI, and we'll say, okay, that's a pretty rigorous match. And then we'll go to Library, and we'll say Find Duplicates. It's going to show me the duplicates, and I could go through these manually in this pop-up window, or I can close the pop-up window. Now be careful here not to unselect anything. You're going to keep these selected. And you're going to see that one is not selected and the duplicates are selected. So you can eyeball these and take a look. So there's 803 already. And I do encourage you to really take a look and not just guess. So let's pretend I had scrolled through all the way to the bottom, right, and ensured that these were all, in fact, duplicates. And then I'm just going to hit delete. And they go into my trash. And then we're going to go back up to all references. We're going to go to edit, preferences, and we're going to take some of these parameters off. So I'll take off DOI. Now we're matching on year, title, volume, and issue. We'll say OK. We'll go to library, and we'll say find duplicates. Again, we'll close the pop-up. We'll eyeball these. You can control click to keep them selected and make sure that they're selected. So, yeah, so this is just a uh, index problem with the names. Looks like duplicates to me. In theory, I'd be a lot more careful. I'm going to hit delete. They go into my trash. We'll go back up to all references. We'll go to edit preferences. Let's just match on a title this time, but we're going to need to be very careful. Actually, how about the title in the year? We'll do that. And then we'll go to library, find duplicates, 34. They look pretty duplicates to me. Just control click. I'm just taking a look. And sometimes you can also kind of eyeball the pages. And the volumes. It looks okay. So I'm going to hit delete. And then we could also go to edit preferences one more time. Match on the title. And these are just matched on the title. Control click. These are not the same thing. I'm going to unclick that one. These have the same DOI. These are not the same thing. It looks like an update. So let's keep those in the batch. Delete. Just the ones that were selected. And then the last thing I do, if it's reasonable, is sort by title. And make sure the DOI is showing and some of the authors. Um, and what we're going to do is just scroll down. Like, that one's a duplicate. I don't know why we didn't see it before. So I deleted it. And it's 
a little test for your eyeballs. So just eyeball the DOI, the pages, the title. If anything looks suspicious, see if it looks like a duplicate and you can delete it. Here's one. Delete. Okay, and then when you're done, you don't want to lose these in the trash. So these are all the duplicates. So this is what the what you'll add to your Prisma flow diagram. We had 1155 to start, removed 535 duplicates. We're left with 620. So that would be in the Prisma flow diagram. But normally what we do is keep track of the duplicates just for transparency and reproducibility. So there's a couple of things you can do here. I usually just highlight them and select them all and then export selected references into a duplicate library. There's definitely other ways to do this, but basically I don't want them to get lost forever in the trash. And so I keep them now in a separate file, which EndNote calls libraries. That's how I deduplicate in EndNote. I'd then be ready to export this set of 620 into my screening software. It wasn't too painful. So if you're doing something like this, good luck. Thanks for watching. See you next time.